Method 5035A reduces the amount of disturbance when collecting soil samples for the analysis of VOCs, BTEX, and F1. This short video will demonstrate how to collect a sample using the ALS TerraCore kit. Each TerraCore sampling kit includes the following. One TerraCore sampler that collects a 5 gram aliquot, two 40 milliliter VOA vials containing 10 milliliters of methanol, one 125 milliliter wide mouth sample jar for percent moisture analysis. The methanol to soil extraction ratio is important for the analytical method. If you are unsure of the amount of soil to meet your required reporting limits, please contact your ALS account manager. Before sampling, check the black 10 milliliter fill line to ensure the methanol volume is correct. Then complete each pre-labeled vial with an appropriate pin. Do not add other labels to the vials as it will alter the teared weight and slow down processing at the laboratory. With the plunger seated in the handle, push the TerraCor sampler into freshly exposed soil until the sample chamber is filled. Wipe all soil or debris from the outside of the TerraCor sampler. Place the mouth of the sampler into the 40 milliliter vial. Rotate the plunger 90 degrees. Push down on the plunger to slowly release the plug of soil into the vial. Remove the sampler and securely tighten the cap on the 40 milliliter VOA vial to ensure no leakage. Repeat the process for the second vial using the same plunger. Note that different amounts of soil are required to meet all of the Alberta Tier 1 reporting guidelines. Your ALS account manager or business development representative will help with any questions you might have. Pack the two 40 milliliter vials upright in the bubble wrap bag supply and place in the cooler at 4 degrees Celsius. Finally, collect a sample for the 125 milliliter jar using the bulk soil collection technique to submit for moisture analysis. This sample will also be suitable for EPH, F2, F4, and PAH analysis. Each vial is pre-preserved, pre-weighed, and pre-labeled, and it is imperative that the weight is legible upon receipt at the laboratory. Use the chain of custody form to record the following. Company and contact information, turnaround time and tests required, project references, invoicing information, ALS quote number, field sample ID with sample date and times, and drinking water fields as appropriate for the regulations. Finally, sign and date the COC and ship your samples to an ALS laboratory. For additional information, contact your ALS account manager or visit www.alsglobal.com.